After that, he can see Kang sleeping. He is having a nightmare that someone is trying to kill him with a knife. By seeing this, Kang awakes from his sleep. Then, in the morning, Kang is going to the school. He meet with Mingyu while walking. Mingyu was shocked to see his face as it was like a ghost. Kang said that he could not sleep last night, so his face looks like this. They both then goes to the school. In the break time, we can see Jin Man and his gang is sitting in the stairs. One of them asked Jin Man about Wu Minjin. The red-haired boy was shocked that he did not know about Wu Minjin. Jin Man then starts to tell the Stroyod Wu Minjin. Wu Minjin was a member of the Yoksugo Wrestling Club. There are two types of people in the wrestling club. One exercise seriously and one takes the exercise lightly. The people that takes the exercise lightly becomes the leader of the local gang. But Wu Minjin was a very serious one. He exercised properly and even become the champion of many wrestling matches. But one day some bullies from the wrestling club made him a completed different person. The bullies beat Wu Minjin with a bat, which make the beast inside Minjin wake up. He then beat all the bullies he make six of them injured and make the other four faint. The coach of the wrestling club that comes to stop him also gets a fracture. The Yoksugo wrestling club disappears from that day. From then, Minjin gave up exercising seriously. From hearing his name only makes the atmosphere of the school tense. No matter which grade student is, everybody gets scared by him. In the end, the two group in the north area merged and Bokshian was created. Then we can see Wu Minjun and his team is in a hotel. One of his members said to him that if he should rent his place. Minjun said him to wait as a hotel in Gangnam will open soon. He told all of the members to come closer. Minjun asked all of them that is the best gang in the South Korea. One of them replied that it is the Kangjin group. Minjun then asked them about their wish. They all said that is to join the Kangjin group. Minjin said that there is a scout for the Kangjin group. By hearing this, everyone gets excited and cheers for Minjin. He continues his speech that they'll only recruit first place in each area through auditions. This words of his make the whole group depressed. Minjin also said that the selected person will be given a private lodging and a supercar. They will also give the person a club operation rights. After hearing him, the red-haired guy said that they fully trust Minjin but even that, the only person will be selected, is him. Minjin then said that if this will be the case, will he ever bring up his talk? He takes out his phone and played a recording. The details of the recording is that if the person that is selected has a team, along with him, the rest of this members will also to accepted as a Kangjin group. After hearing this, the members regain their joy and start to shout that, they will be a member of Kangjin Gang. Minjin then told them to follow him sincerely, he will ensure to bloom their life. After that, a guy show Minjun a video of Kang fighting with the Jin Man family. By seeing the movement of Kang, Minjin gets that Kang is not a nerd. The guy suggests Minjin that how about he fight him to stretch a bit and get some money before the audition starts. Minjin gets excited as he can take two birds with one stone. After that, we can see an executive of Kangjin Group. He was torturing a man. He put a man on the ground and placed a golf ball on his mouth and shot the ball. After that, four man has arrived there. He gives his golf to his assistant and walks towards the four men. He begins to congratulate the four men for doing a very difficult and important work. These four are the only members of the Kang Jin work team, and these were the guys who kill the gangster Kang. The executive then told them that he has gathered them all to give them a job. The guys replied that they will do any type of job he assigned them. One of them said him about the job. The white-haired man laughs and said that this job will decide the future of the Kang Jin organization. On the other side, Kang's school has finished. He and Ming Yu was planning to go to a cafeteria, but at that time, Kang's mother called him and asked him if he is coming. Start to the restaurant she works at. By hearing this, Kang asked her, Why is she saying this? She replied, That his friends have come to the restaurant and they are waiting for him. 
Kang gets a bit tensed and drops the call quickly by saying that he will be there soon. Kang then asked Ming Yu that if he had friends other than him. Ming Yu said that he has none. Kang then looks in front and saw Jin Man and his members are looking at him and smiling. Kang finds that something is suspicious. He and Ming Yu starts to walk towards the restaurant. At the restaurant, Wu Minjun and his family has come. They were ordering food in a huge amount and was eating them. Kang's mother gets a little suspicious to see that this big guys are Kang friends. In the meantime, Ming Yu and Kang has arrived at the restaurant. Ming Yu gets scared by seeing the boys. Kang asked him if he knows who they are. Ming Yu replied, That the thug is Wu Minjun, who is the leader of the Northern Sky Gang, and the other boys are his gang members. Kang quickly enters the restaurant and first greet his mother. He was planning to take all the boys outside without his mother noticing and thing. Kang then moves forward and walks straight to Wu Minjun and place his left hand on his shoulder and said long time no see. He then snatches the golden chain from Minjin's neck and told him, if he wants to get it back, he should quietly follow him. After saying this, Kong puts the chain in his pocket and starts to walk. Minjin gets very angry. As Kang was going to get out of the restaurant, his mom stands in front of him. He then said, her that, these are the kids who keep hanging around him and wants to be friends with him, but as they seems off, so he is just going to let them go. Kang's mom holds his hand and told him that she understands. Kang then turns around to the boys and told them to make a quick exit. From here, he takes the boys at a back alley. One of Minjin boys shouts at Kang if he wants to die. Kang then quickly grabs his face and starts to fight. He punches the two boys at the front and knock them. But he dodged all their attacks and beats them up. A boy with a green shirt rushed at him, but he kicks him in the chin and make him bleed from the mouth. By seeing Kang beating all the members, the red-haired boy gets scared. At that time, Minjin rushed towards Kang and grabs him by his waist and gives him a nice suplex. But Kang was clever. He places his hands behind his head to avoid any major damage to the head. By throwing Kang, Minjin sits on the ground and says that he pushed him to show all of his techniques. They both gets up and Kang makes a smiley face and said to Minjin, that if he has been working out, if. By hearing this, Minjin gets angry and said, can't you look at this? Minjin then starts to punch Kang, but he successful dodged all of it. Minjin then tries to catch Kang's waist, but this time Kang predicted his movements and dodged it and punched him on the head and also strikes him on his face with his knee. This makes Minjin fly away and lands on the ground on his back. He quickly gets up on his feet and wipes the blood from his face. Kang starts to mock him, which made Minjin furious. As they were going to start the second round, the cops had arrived. By seeing the cops, the members of the Minjin family starts to run. Kang Mom has also come with the cops. Minjin was so angry that he was not going at first, but after the warning of this guy's, he decides to flew away. Kang has also went home with his mother. At home, Kang's mother questioned him, why there was a fight as he was just seeing them off. Kang stands silent. His mother starts to shout that what he would have done if she hadn't arrived there with the police and wasn't it because of them that he got hurt last time. Kang replied that it wasn't them. Kang's mother starts to cry and said that she only lived for him. She said that when his father has died, she worked from dawn till the late at night without in holidays she also says that if anything wrong happens to him, there is no meaning for her to be alive. Kang ensures his mom that this will not happen again. Then at the night, we can see the Minjin family is gathered at the park as usual. Minjin was laying down on the slider and was getting angry from thinking about Kang. At the meanwhile, Jin Man and one of his boys has come to the park. By seeing Jin Man, Minjin told him to raise his head and come closer. The red-haired man asked Jin Man if he and his man has been harassing Kang for three years. He replied that it's true, but Kang has recently went crazy. The red-haired guy then told that he has to raise the price by three times. Jin Man agreed to pay him. Minjin then calls Jin Man to come inside the slider house. Jin Man heads his words and climb up. 
After that Jin Man starts screaming. Later he was throw away down the slider. Jin Man was covered in blood. Min Jin comes out with bloods on his hand and asks the other guy for Kang's address. Later we can see Ming Yu was talking with his grandfather. His grandfather has gotten a back pain, so he goes outside to buy a painkiller from a pharmacy. As he was a boy, come in front of him and starts to laugh and shout that he has found Ming Yu. Ming Yu asked him, Who is he? But the boy ignores him and said that he has won the prize of 5001. Ming Yu gets scared and as he was going to run backwards, but a boy come from his behind and punch him by saying that, The one of catches him first is the winner. Both of the boys corners Ming Yu and starts to punch him on the face. Ming Yu thinks that he will also change and grabs the collar of one of the boys. In the meantime, Min Jin has arrived at the sense. He was sitting on the wall above Ming Yu's head. He then told Ming Yu to try to change now. By hearing this, Ming Yu starts to cry. Min Jin then jumps and lands a direct punch on Ming Yu's head and knocked him out.